and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So without further ado, let us show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday and to a new week. You find us here in St Albans still. Yeah, we're here for another couple of days. We are just popping out into town we got to get back for two though because there's an estate agent coming round to have a look at the house we've had a good tidy up we've packed loads of stuff away we've got the hoover out we've whizzed it around we've been super busy this morning so i've also finished all the letters they're going out i just need to get a few more stamps so i need to stop at a post office at some point so glenn's managed to get all the stuff for the charity shop that Deb had already packed up into one of the clothes banks. I've just been in the post office, had to buy some more stamps. Some people with an international letter, some of you have got one with the king's head on, and some of you have got an international Christmas stamp. I will make sure in December all the international letters have Christmas stamps. Glenn just said this is the head injury car park. I was like, what are you talking about? Not this side, but the other side that we were just round is where I had a small bike accident. And got a head injury and uh, ended up in hospital. On, oh, with, with amnesia. <laughs> with, with amnesia. No, with amnesia. Well, yeah. Even yeah, Glenn didn't even recognise his sister after this accident. And that's another story. We'll tell you about that another day. Anyway, the weather is a bit grotty. But we are heading into St Albans. Gonna have the quickest look around the town centre because we've got to be back in an hour and a half anyway for the estate agent. But come on, let's go. That's the school I went to. It's called Samuel Ryder Academy. What sort of nonsense is that? Was it used to be called? It used to be called Sir Francis Bacon. We've come a back way to miss some traffic lights. Glenn's amazed that he even remembered it. Oh my goodness, we have just pulled into a car park and it's tight and the very first space was like tucked away and Glenn was like, I'll have that. I was like, oh my goodness, I never would have parked here. No, I'd have been driving around for ages. We ain't got time for that. That used to be Nationwide Bank. Yeah. It's now the Saint and Sinner. Here we go, mark it on today. Shame it is so rainy. So that's the museum and gallery. I want to go in there. Glenn is just in one of the banks. He's just sorting some banking out. So I'm having a stroll around. So I've just met Luca from Southampton. Luca's been trying to get me to do a bit of monthly giving. And I've said, Luca, no, I already do it. And he's the best salesman I have ever seen. Scene. Honestly, he's tried his hardest and I had to do my hardest no. So anyone need an excellent salesperson, this is the man, all right? And also, if anybody does want to donate to the National Deaf Children's Society, unfortunately you can't contact Luca. But it's a great charity and I have actually done um, monthly giving to them before. So I can say they do great work. I've got to say, Luca, extraordinary salesman, is very good. Anyway, let's have a proper stroll around the town. You can actually just see the cathedral through there, Glen's Point, get out. Oh, there's lots of lovely things. We're in the foodie bit now, which isn't good because we are hungry. We haven't had anything to eat yet. There's some very historic buildings around here. This is a pub that Glenn used to frequent. This is the clock tower. Look at this place, little Marrakesh. Looks fab. Beautiful jewellery. Such a vibrant town centre. So we've come into this place which sells crepes. We've ordered a breakfast crepe. There's a dog running up and down the road. It's a, it's a great watch. The owner's got a tennis racket and throws the ball down. The dog runs down, retrieves the ball, runs up. I've got maple and bacon. Glenn's got a full English breakfast. Theatre, council building and 
Is it police station as well? And here we are. <laughs> this is where the police park. You can't get broken into. Oh no. Glenn's removing windows. As you do. It's just clean that one. That window, it looks like there's no glass in. It's so clean. These windows, well, they're a bit filthy. Uh, Glenn's just managed to cut the top of his thumb quite badly. I've had to administer first aid. I mean, like pass him a plaster that's what i'm talking about i was like do we need to go to the hospital he's like i don't think so i think it'll be all right it's quite a deep cut yeah that's not good fortunately glenn had just sorted out some plasters not a couple of hours before and there was three packets of plasters just gonna see if it needs any hospital treatment good morning and welcome to sunday we're packing up here we're heading back to northampton and then we'll be back down here very soon i'm just gathering the christmas stuff because i want to take it back to deb's so that the kids can have a look through and see what ornaments they would like glenn's mum has got some lovely christmas decorations so it's a great way to be able to remember glenn's mum she loved christmas Glenn's got a couple of jobs to do and then we'll be off. What are you doing with Father Christmas? I'm bagging him. So He's the glitter don't go everywhere. Quite everywhere. I feel like we're just moving possessions. It, 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 it gets me down a little bit. It's a lot of stuff. We found out who the trailer that was abandoned on the drive belonged to. Guy's just coming to move it. So we're all done. Time to head back. The car is rammed rammed there's a lot of stuff in here there is a lot of stuff we're taking it slow on the way back <laughs> glenn's injury well i had to do a bit of uh, emergency treatment on that <laughs> rather than take him to hospital yesterday we made our own sort of steri strips and patched it back together so i think that's going to take a while to heal oh, yeah, so it's a big cut it's a big cut so anyway let's head back to northampton so we're at Deb's and she's cooking up a storm in the kitchen. We just came in, she goes, would you like a bacon sandwich? We were like, yes, we would. That is what we call a sandwich. Kitchen all sorted. Deb and Glenn are in the garage trying to make room for some of this stuff. So that's a load of stuff dropped off at the office. We've now got to stop off at Debbie's shop and just drop some stuff off there. Then I'm trying to persuade Miss Warner that we nip back to the boat to pick up my phone that I left in Northampton on Thursday. Yeah, I've been phoneless since Thursday. It's been quite lovely. But I need it for an authentication code to get in and to be able to send a newsletter out. Oh, it's all the drama. Right, that's the buckets dropped off at the shop. Back to get the car, then back to the boat, then back to Deb's, and then back to the boat. We only went away for a couple of days. Let's try and get this to the boat without it all falling off. So we got back to the boat, can't find my phone. We've looked on Find My Friends and rang it. I always have my phone on silent, never, never hear it. Um, and it shows that it's here. I can't find it. Where could that be? I, I've obviously put it somewhere safe. Yeah, I haven't put it somewhere safe. Glenn's like, I haven't put it somewhere You're safe. I've dis somewhere. disregarded it. I wonder if it's in the shoe basket because that's near where I charge it. Ta da! Down the back of the sofa. Right, that's all jobs done. We're going back to Deb. She's cooking a roast dinner. I've got to do a bit of work. Also, I've got to get me diary out and my work laptop and see when I'm working next. With all these days of annual leave, I don't know what I'm doing. So we just got back to Deb. She's got the gin out. She's got the, I mean, it was my fault. She said, would you like a drink? I said, I'll have a gin. I think she was meaning tea or coffee, but I went straight in with the gin. Um, I'm just charging up my computers. Both my computers are flat. So I'm just charging them up, gonna drink the gin, chat to Deb. Deb's cooking a roast dinner. Oh man, this is the way to spend a Sunday. Deb's dish not. It's looking and smelling delicious. That's yours, that's oh. We had such a lovely dinner around him. Mm -hmm. Let's head back to the boat. We'll see you tomorrow. 
Good morning and welcome to Monday. Glenn, Glenn, spare pair, spare pair. Spare pair. Uh, Mr. Warner stepped out the boat this morning and I had a small splash. And it was Glenn's glasses falling off his head into the water. Fortunately, they are not like prescription glasses. They quid yeah they were one of my better pairs then... tortoiseshell <laughs> anyway i've got a spare pair he's got a spare pair all is okay so this morning we're both off to work glenn is working all week this week apart from thursday friday apart from friday when we're helping harry and Haley move house and i thought see mr warden was going to the office i was planning to work from from home today but i was like i'm not seeing you going in mr warner i'll come in with you too so that's what we're doing tonight we must must do some planning for the holiday we must two things are creeping up on us christmas holiday both need a little bit of planning talking of planning i did my diary for this week man it's crazy it's crazy week you gotta be all in haven't you sometimes you just gotta be all in oh my goodness that was a full-on day at work busy busy I've come out oh it's half past four it's dark it's dark i'm not ready for the day to be over we just got in it is a little chilly, so Glenn's gonna light fire. We've both got some work to do, actually. I have to finish Milton Keynes Community Boats newsletter. I'm almost done, almost done. So, so I've got to do that. I'm gonna stick the oven on. I bought a ready meal for dinner. I know, mm -hmm. lazy, lazy, mm -hmm. lazy. I'm gonna stick that in the oven. I'm gonna finish that newsletter. Glenn's got a couple of emails and stuff to do. And then this evening, without fail, we promised ourselves we are going to do a bit of planning for America. It's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. Anyway, let's crack on. So we've finally made a bit of headway with our America trip. I've just applied for our Esters got to wait 72 hours see if they'll let us in the country then mr warner booked our first five days of accommodation so that's very exciting i feel like we've got a starting point now good morning and welcome to tuesday i've been busy this morning yes i have i've got some butternut squash in the oven i want to cook that up to make some soup and it's been in the fridge for well too long i haven't got time to make the soup now but it's there ready ready to be made so what's happening today apart from soup making well glenn is at work he left this morning i've done some video editing oh, i'm up to date and now i am leaving here i'm going to see the beauty lady oh yeah my eyebrows oh they're shocking don't look don't look i am then going to go and see my mum this evening we're heading around to debbie's so is naomi and mark and ryan and evie and mia it's ryan's birthday tomorrow turns 13 how can i have a grandchild who's a teenager it's crazy anyway yeah that's that's the plan for the day let's see how, how it all works out come on let's go right i've just had my eyebrows done mum is on her way here she comes i'm just taking mum she's got you got a blood test mum yeah two blood tests two blood tests i'm just dropped mum off for her blood test i'm just waiting in the car she's just got a nip in uh, that was perfect timing that worked out really well mum's back did i take your blood oh, three lots three lots three lots i just want to say a massive hello to lynn and david who we've just Hello, chatted to well. in the lounge and i've just explained to david all about the channel and about youtube and that mum's a superstar yeah i've just explained all of that it is after midday it's quarter past 12 i've just realized i haven't had a hot drink yet today so kettle's on for a coffee mum stopped at the baker's this morning look at look at the size of these rolls they're huge me and mum 
we're doing DIY and that should never be a thing. Should it, Mum? We, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't be trusted with these sort of things. Anyway, I'm trying to sort Mum's TV up out, upstairs because she's just got a Amazon Fire Stick. But the TV, the plug, has got my fuse in. So I was like, we'll find a fuse and we'll put it in. in oh, so we're going to take another plug apart, put in a fuse. I'm sure that will be fine. And we need a little crisscrossy screwdriver. I've got a fuse. Let's add that in. Is there like an up and down, like a battery, like a plus and minus? I've got a feeling I'm not sure I'm doing this right, but let's go plug it in and find out. Come on. Slightly nervous about this. Right, it's in. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, mum. Nothing's switched on. Yeah, nothing's working. Oh, uh, I think this fuse is too little. It's rattling around in the plug and I don't think that's a good thing. I'm going back down to get the screwdriver and we're now, we're now going to take apart the fan and see if the fuse in that works. I have an awful feeling we're going to leave a trail of appliances without fuses. I couldn't get it back together. We'll leave that for Glenn. Right, let's take the fan apart. Now that's looking like a bigger fuse. So let's see if this switch is on. Look at mum, she's looking quite <laughs> nervous. Oh, mum, oh, we, we got a light. This means power. Yeah. Right, let's, let's, uh... the light just flashed. Oh, mum, look at us. We're like virtually <laughs> electricians. I have no idea what any of this means, mum. It means we haven't got a signal. It means we haven't got a signal, but, but we have this, okay. so let's see what we can do. So now I've got the TV working. Look, we have power. I've plugged the fire stick into a HDMI port. It's not, it's nothing's working though. This needs batteries. So mum's gone off to find some batteries and I'm just gonna jab with the remote control, see what we can do. Rookie mistake. We need power to it. I thought it would just work by magic. Oh my goodness, Mum. I think we've gone and done it. Look at us go. Oh, check us out, Mum. Check <laughs> us out. Oh, yes. Ever need TV setting up? I'm your woman. I'm not your woman. Right, I just stopped off. Got me medication. I ran out of that a good few days ago, so I need to get back on that. Uh, seeing Ryan tonight. Picked up a caterpillar cake for Ryan's birthday. And also, I saw this birthday card and I just loved it. Look at that. I love that. I love that. Let's go. Let's head to Debbie's. Oh, my goodness. I've just had a chat with Beffy. I'm trying to get her to come to a march on Saturday that's called Reclaim the Night. The march is to raise awareness of violence against women. The way I see it is by protesting or marching or showing up, then we start conversations. Like people are like, why? What's that about? And it starts conversation. A long time ago, I was well into activism. Yeah. Oh, I went on some marches. I did some campaigning, a lot of campaigning. I w even took my kids to the G8 summit in Edinburgh to protest. Glenn won't come. Um, so I did a lot of protesting. I did a lot of campaigning. And I don't do it so much now. And there's a very particular reason why I don't do it anymore. But I saw this march happening on Saturday night. And I was like... Yeah, that's one I'm going to turn up to. I've been trying to persuade Beth to come. She's not having any of it. She's not. She says she's not sure. I was like, come on, Beth, be the change. Be the change we want to see in the world. It's Mr. Warner. He has returned. So Deb's just got in from work and it's perfect timing because Nemo has just arrived. Hello, my darling. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, Nemo, come on in. Evie and Mia 
about going through the Christmas decorations. Auntie Debbie has bought Ryan for his birthday the History of the World quiz book. Even with the answers, I'm not the answer. Okay, in 1920, who became the leader? Who became leader of the Indian National Congress, an organisation that campaigned for greater I know, Indian I know. involvement and in government of the country? I'm going to say Richard Tuna. Gandhi. I'm going to say Gandhi. Right, Gandhi. Gandhi, I was right. I was right. I love this book. I love this book. Happy birthday to you. So we're playing a great game where we're telling a story in one minute saying one word at a time. It's funny. It's very funny, isn't it? Go. D. Knock. Knock. At. That. Door. I. Love. Basically. That room. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love that room. 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 Oh. Under the tree. <laughs> it's warm and cozy under <laughs> that tree. <laughs> Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you and, and pineapple <laughs> juice. <laughs> Are you putting no. words in Debbie's mouth? <laughs> <laughs> we're done. We're testing out games that we're going to play on Boxing Day, and I think this one's a keeper. Oh, we had a lovely time. We really did. We're not heading back to the boat. Oh no, we have to go to the office because Glenn needs to do some dispatches so that's where we're off to now it don't stop does it lots of people putting up their Christmas lights well, not even December yet. Glenn is just adjusting a watch for Ryan he's done the dispatches they're just over there and I'm gonna run them around to the post box let's go So Glenn has just amended the watch strap. Good stuff, right, can we go back now and watch Bake Off? Cake. Have we got cake? Cake and Bake Off? Oh, life is good, Mr Warner. Right, that's it. That is us done for this day. Good morning to you. And what a beautiful morning it is. I mean, it is grey and cloudy, but the sun is saying, no, I'm coming out. I'm coming out through that cloud. It's going to be a beautiful day. Sadly, I'm not going to see much of it because I'm going to be in the office. Oh, well. Glenn's going to be out and about doing. Let's get to work and we'll see you later. Good afternoon to you. Tell us what you've done today. So I'll fix guttering and funny enough this is quite ironic really because it was the tennis club was moaning about a water that was coming over the guttering by their door and it was a tennis ball that was actually blocking the uh, the damp pipe. Oh, uh, <laughs> so, the irony. Oh, really. The irony. Oh, really. And then what? I'll fix oh, the... there's more, there's yeah, more. Yeah, I'll fix the panels and all the toilets in Marsh Drive. We've also removed the screens off the cricket. Busy, busy, Mr Warner. I've sat at my desk and done lots of work, but I'm pleased with what I've done, so that's good. Anyway, we're heading back to the boat now, where we're going to do a quick change, and then we're going to be back out this evening. So the motorway is blocked, and this is causing a mega a mega queue we were doing so well and now we're in another big traffic jam this That's isn't good this, this is. isn't good still stuck in traffic so what we have decided to do we're heading to the office where glenn says he's got some clothes ryan's birthday card is at the boat but there's not enough time to get from where we are to the boat across town to the restaurant so we're we're 
cut in a corner basically so i'll just have to tell ryan that his birthday card will come tomorrow ah oh, so we've been invited to join diane and sean celebrating ryan's birthday so let's go better late than never did you make it i didn't make it the machine made it. oh you pressed all the buttons though you pressed the button what's the fortune cookie say we've just had a lovely meal with not just ryan evie mia naomi and mark but also mark's mum and mark's two brothers sean and david as well which was fabulous uh, can i tell you about the very exciting candy floss machine that they had i mean it was like a work of art there was many many things that you could choose and uh it was amazing it was amazing that's naomi and mark and the kids walking back to the car <laughs> morning and welcome to thursday well i've had a very luxurious morning i've literally laid in bed editing all morning glenn has gone to work and he was like what are you gonna do today and i was like i'm gonna pot around i'm gonna catch up with editing i'm gonna make some soup i'm gonna sort stuff out just potter so that's the plan i was planning to go for a walk beautiful day out there have i got any appropriate footwear on the boat no so i've at the office or at the caravan i'm a bit fed up of my life being like this when i need something it's always in another place i'm not going for a walk because i'm not walking down a muddy towpath in my good shoes it's not happening i'm looking forward to this soup butternut squash it was just that butternut squash that I roasted a couple of days ago. Well, I've been very busy today. I, well, it doesn't look like it, but I have sorted loads of stuff out. The boat looked like a bomber, did it? But it's, I've put it back together now, uh, sorted loads of stuff out. I've got a couple of bags to run around to the rubbish. I'm going to do that now, even though, oh, you got all blurry. Even though it looks like it's going to pour with rain. The podcast I'm listening to, that million dollar lover, excellent. Really, really good. So I'm going to put my headphones on so I can continue listening as I walk around to the bins. Uh, that's about as exciting as my life's got today. Glenn's just rang me. Is at the marina gate. He's left his key, so I'm going to walk around and meet him. There's Mr. Warner in the big van. Here comes Mr. Warner. You can't not notice him in his high vis gear. Let's find out how his day's been. How's your day been, darling? Busy. Come and tell me all about it. So we've just come out of the marina. Our friend Vanessa, well, she's coming to pick us up and we're going to the pub not far from here. Glenn guessed the headlight game. Glenn keeps going, is that Vanessa? And now he's like, no, that car's headlights are too. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> we're here with Vanessa. She's found us. So Vanessa <laughs> has got a new app and she's, she's not drinking tonight. So how's your app working out for you? It's really good. I sort of have like two days where I drink, so that could yeah. be like two glasses of wine. Yeah. Or like last night I had probably four or five cocktails and a glass of prosecco. So. so so that's your drinking for this week? Yes, yeah, so that's my drinking for this week done. So then I just don't drink for the rest of the week. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna go signature burger. Glenn is gonna go duo of Korean chicken. Vanessa, what are you going for? I'm going to go for the burger. Burger, burger, burger. burger. Yeah, both. Oh, that was nice. That was nice and easy. <laughs> That's looking good. Oh, we've had a lovely evening with Vanessa. It's always good to catch up with her. Anyway, Glenn's getting us in. That's it for tonight. Exciting day tomorrow. Harry's moving. We've got to get up early. We've got to get the van over. So we will see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Friday. It's Harry and Hayley's moving day. Come on, let's go give them a hand. We're in the big van. Let's go. 
It's so cold out there this morning, just walking from the boat to the van. It's very cold. So, what crack team have you got today, Mr. Warner? It's me, Scott and Harry. And it's me, Hayley and Dawn looking after babies. Yeah, I've bagged that job. First stop, McDonald's. Right, we are now caffeinated. Morning, morning. So we're here with Scott, Harry and Hayley and the twins have just gone to take the dog to Hayley's auntie who's looking after the dog today. So we're just trying to get as much bit downstairs as we can. It was a nightmare. Oh, look, it's, it's like a well-oiled machine this is, look. Yeah, exactly. They know exactly what they're doing. Harvey's got one at our house and it is monster. Right. I can't remember how we got I think when we brought this in, we had to put that over the earth and over as well, but Harry's here now so we can Yeah. Oh they don't know it's big moving and day. Can't, and they can't even see. Oh what you did it. Sleepy, sleepy. Hello. Are you sleepy? And you're sleepy. So I'm in Hayley's car with the twins. We're heading over. We have arrived. Well, me, Hayley and the twins. They're not drinking Lucasade. That's for Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> Give right. us a quick, super so, quick tour. So, kitchen, ignore the mess. Utility room in there. Perfect. I love it. Dining, dining area. And this will be lounge. lounge. And big cupboard in here. There's a big cupboard there. There's another cupboard in there. And there's a cupboard under here which goes all the way back there and all the way back there. Oh, we like cupboards. We like That's cupboards. Nice. Let's go take a look upstairs. So we've just met the neighbours as well and they were lovely. Nice. You can actually see your mum's house from exactly. here, can't you? It's you can. And this will be baby's room. Baby's room. It's a wonderful space. It's really light and airy and clean and gorgeous. It's going to make a wonderful new home. Are you happy? Very happy. Here they are. In comes the big stuff. Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? Oh, oh, will it? Will it? Made to measure. Oh, oh, not. Oh, it might not go all the way. Well, it fit like a glove. Perfect. Moving house is hard work. However easy you try and make it, it's just hard work. Oh look, Scott and Glenn, they're like the dream team. Me and Ellie, we're just hanging out here. Well, there's a moving emergency. <laughs> Hayley can't find the tea bags. This is, this is getting serious. <laughs> Dawn, I think we've got the best job, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. We're all right. We're we? all right, yeah. Disappointed oh. I haven't got a cup of tea. Oh no, a cup of tea would make it perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> God, isn't there, what are you doing? Are you gonna chat? Are you chatting? How are you? What are you gonna say? So we've got two babbers. Oh! Chatting? Both having a kick around. Are you having a kick around? What are you saying? We are leaving. All the big stuff's in. We have to get the van back by 4.30. It's been such a lovely day today, weather-wise. It was really chilly this morning, but such a glorious no, winter's it's day. It's actually colder now than it was when we left the boat. Oh, uh, really? It was 7.5 degrees when we left the boat. It's now six. Ooh. So I think it's gonna be a chilly morning. I think so too. 
Well, we didn't expect this on the way back. Mr. Warner filling up with some fuel. God, those sausage rolls look good, don't they? Double the joy. Festive roll with pork, bacon and cranberry. Two for £4.50. Right, that's the van dropped off. Let's get back to the boat. We're not going back to the boat. I forgot we had to go to the office to do something. Let's go and see Chloe. So we just popped in to see Chloe. There she is, working away. Glenn's doing a job for Chloe. Glenn has just been back round the post box and we have not one, not two, not three, but four gorgeous letters. So what I need to do is find my glasses. Okie dokie, let's have a look. Can I just say a nice collection of uh, stationery as well today. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, lots of lovely writing from Norma. She says, Dear Lisa, at last I've found the time to reply to your lovely letters. Oh, I look forward to receiving your happy mail. Oh, that is lovely. Thank you, Norma. Thank you. That is a beautiful card. And this beautiful envelope as well. Let's have a look. And beautiful paper as well. Can you see that? How lovely is that? This is from Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much for your letter and postcard. I'm going to read that in a second. Another letter. Oh, and this is from Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Dear Lisa and Glenn, thank you for my letter. I look forward to it each month. Oh, Kathy, you've been in hospital. I hope you're feeling better now. Oh, look at this one. Shiny envelope. Look, beautiful. Look at the, can you see this? Look how lovely that is. This is Linda. Dear Lisa, thank you so much for your lovely letter. I've put the Christmas card away to open later and I hope I can remember where I put it. Oh, that is lovely. I am going to sit down, grab a coffee and read all of these. Thank you so much. Mr Warner, what you been doing? I'm just doing Chloe's graphics. I like what you're doing there. The warmer he can turn his hand to anything. Glenn's now fixing something else, and I'm doing a bit of cookbook reading. Well done, Mr. Warner. That was a big effort, wasn't it? You had to cut, trim, make it work, but you did it. Chloe brought a pull up banner second hand, and she had the graphic separately, and she couldn't get the graphic off the banner to put her own one on and Glenn's been there it's been effort so one last thing to do today let's go and get some food for dinner also because it's cold tonight we need some more fuel so some coffee logs or some coal or something so that is shopping purchased dinner for this evening is a vegetarian it's option. It's a vegetarian option. I just yeah. fancied it. I just wanted to diver about it for a while. Yeah, there was just nothing I saw that I fancied. So anyway, we're going back to cook that. That is it for this week. Is it? Was it yeah, all over? That's it. It's all over. It's Another all week done. So there we have it. Sorry about the half Christmas look. Oh, well, I think it's seasonal, Mr. Seasonal. Warner. So there's just one last thing to say. A thank you to Kathy and Caroline for buying us a coffee. Yeah, thank you so much. We will see you guys next week. Take care. Have a good week. See ya. Bye. Bye.